Hi there, this is Brent Nivert with DocsCorp. Today we're going to be talking about PDF Docs watch folders. So in general, PDF Docs watch folders are used for directing your printers or scanners to this location because PDF Docs is watching those folders and when a document arrives, it converts that document to PDF and if we've set it up that way, we'll also OCR that document and then import it into PDF Docs. Uh, they can also be used for collaboration or collating or collecting of documents into a single location that we want to import uh, in bulk all at once. So let's talk about setting up those folders and how to use them. The first thing we need to do is create those folders. Now those folders can reside anywhere on your machine or on the network so long as PDF Docs has access to that location to be watching it. Now for simplicity, I have placed those on my desktop. Uh, we want to create two watch folders. Now, I've pre-created them and I've named them OCR watch folder and non-OCR watch folder. These are not naming requirements, but it does allow me to know when I'm configuring these within PDF docs, which of those folders is which and what I want to do with that folder. So once we've created those folders, we can go into PDF docs and open up our options dialog. Now in the options, we have a number of options on the left and on the bottom here is the watch folders category. So you can see we have nothing here, but we have the option to add a watch folder. So if I click here, a dialog comes up allowing me to browse to the location of where that folder is. I can even make a new folder from within here. But since we've already created folders, we just want to navigate to those folders and set them up. So I'll select the first one here and click OK. Now that populates here into this box uh, and pre-checks the two option boxes here. The first one is the enable. Now this allows me to turn on and turn off whether or not PDF Docs is watching this folder. When we turn this off, we can add a load of documents in there, which is what I was talking about earlier, uh, and they will not be converted. Uh, but if we come back in here and re-enable it, uh, once that's enabled, it will process all of those documents. It should be noted that the documents that enter a watch folder do not remain there once they have been processed. So we don't want to place any documents in that folder that we don't have anywhere else, although we do have the ability to save those documents once they are in PDF Docs. So let's go ahead and add that second one. We'll add the OCR watch folder, click OK. Now, this OCR watch folder uh, has also populated the same way. Now, this recognize text option here, you can see that's pre-checked on both. This is that OCR process. So because we have a non-OCR watch folder here, we're going to uncheck that box. The documents that enter this folder will then just be converted to PDF without any OCR in, whereas the documents right in here will be OCR'd. When we're OCRing documents, we have some templates that we can apply as far as the text recognition goes. Uh, obviously, general use is generally what folks are needing, although we do have options here depending upon uh, your needs. These are also uh, customizable. One other thing to look at when setting up our watch folders is back here in the general tab. So how do we handle those documents once they enter that watch folder? So under print options, this is how uh, PDF Docs is going to handle documents added to the watch folder or sent to uh, PDF Docs through the PDF Docs printer. Out of the box, the default will be to import into the default organizer. We have some other options. We can open that into a single document mode. Uh, each document that added to that folder will open into a brand new instance of PDF Docs. Uh, likewise, we can import those directly into a binder, or we can say, ask me what to do. We'll leave that as the default now. We can choose a separate uh, organizer just for our watch folders, but for now I'm just going to leave it as the default. One other option we have is this open project minimized, and it does just what it says. Once I start importing documents, if I have this tick box checked, the organizer will open, but it will stay minimized in my taskbar so that I'm not seeing uh, that pop up every time. By default, though, this is not checked, and when you import a document, it will open PDF docs on your screen so that you can immediately start working with that document. So we'll leave that just like that and we'll click OK. That's pretty much it for the setup. So let's go test those watch folders and see what we can do with them. Now, 
let's just say I have gone to the printer and I've scanned a document and that printer has sent that scanned document to my OCR folder. So once that happens, PDF uh, Docs is going to be pulling that folder. And once it sees that, it's going to start to process that. And if the first thing it's going to do is, if it needed to, convert that to PDF. Because that was a PDF, the conversion doesn't need to take place, but this OCR process then is happening. There is a number of file types, image file types, that can be imported into uh, that watch folder and be OCR. So as you can see, this is imported and has been appended by OCR. And in fact, the document was OCR and is text searchable. The other thing that we can look at uh, are documents that do not need to be OCR. So we'll just leave that open and we'll go back here and let's take a Word document and we'll copy this into um, our non-OCR watch folder because we know as a Word document it doesn't need to be OCR when it's converted to PDF. So we'll copy that in there. <clears throat> Same thing's going to happen, but this time this document will not be OCR, but it will be converted to PDF. So if we go back to our project, we can see that this document is being imported. And once that process, that conversion to PDF process is done, you can see that here we have that document in here. The drag and drop that I've been doing, uh, that's when the turning off the uh, watch folder can be useful. Because if I have a number of documents that I'm going to be working on, or if I'm working with a team and I need everybody to drop them into the watch folder, uh, when I go back and turn that folder back on, all of those documents uh, will be added. Likewise, um, with the scanned document, you know, if you're scanning a bunch of things into that folder all at once and you don't want it to pop up or even open PDF docs until you're done doing all of your scanning, you can turn off that watch folder, turn it back on, and they will process all at once. Uh, watch folders are pretty simple, but they're also very powerful. So uh, I think that's just about it. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.